Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So like most Windows feature updates that do start rolling out, it seems that Windows 11 version 22H2 is not without its own set of teething problems. And once again, there is another issue now um, that users are reporting on over on the Microsoft community forums. Now, this time the issue is connecting to remote desktop. Now, just in case you're unaware what remote desktop is, just like the name does imply, remote desktop lets you connect remotely to um, another Windows PC from your, your current device and your uh, current desktop. Now, Microsoft hasn't acknowledged officially acknowledged this issue with Windows 11 version 22H2 causing um, the remote desktop problems. But um, over on one of the community forums where there are um, reports coming in from different users, one of Microsoft's employees um, has mentioned that they are looking into these reports. Now, apparently the bug that could be causing this issue is that remote desktop is attempting to use UDP connections and not TCP connections. So that's where the problem could be arising. Now, I must just mention here at first is that remote desktop is mainly used by IT administrators in corporations and enterprises. I don't think this issue is going to be affecting your general home and average home user. So just take note of that. But um, if you have been affected, as an example, you are, are unable to establish connections or are experiencing random disconnections using remote desktop on Windows 11 version 22H2, then there has been a temporary workaround and solution that's been made available where we have to edit the registry. And that's hopefully, um, we'll, we'll be able to solve the issue until hopefully Microsoft does roll out a permanent fix sooner than later. Now, to get to the registry, um, I would just um, say that the easiest would be just to right click on your start menu, click on run and then just enter reg edit, click on OK. Now, like I always do suggest um, before fiddling around and changing values and um, entries in the um, registry is always back up your registry first. And to do this, you just go to file export. It doesn't take very long. And if anything does go wrong, you can always import that backup um, at a later stage just as a safety net. So what we have to do to edit the registry, at first we have to head to H key local machine and expand that. Then we head to software, then uh, policies, Microsoft, let me just move this over a little bit here, Windows NT, and then expand Windows terminal and then click on client. Now yeah, in the right hand field, we have to create a new D word value called F client disable UDP. Now I will leave um, that um, in the description box below. So you can just copy and paste that value for easier reference if you are affected. And what we need to do to create a new D word value is we just right click, hover over new, then head to D word, click on that, and then just enter that value as mentioned, which I will leave in the description box, which is F client disable UDP. Now, once you've entered that, um, you need to double click on that and then just change its value from zero to one. Click on OK. And hopefully that will sort the situation out and solve those problems. And what I would suggest after you have changed that value and created that new D word value is um, just close registry the registry and restart your device and as mentioned hopefully that would sort the issue out until Microsoft does roll out a permanent fix and if that still doesn't work you can always roll back your computer um, to a to Windows 11 version 21H2 as an example or your previous version of Windows and if you don't know how to roll back and um, I have posted a video on how you can go through rolling back your computer and I will also leave a link in the description box below um, just to walk you through that process so and um, that's how you can possibly solve that issue where there are issues um, for some users connecting to remote desktop on Windows 11 version 22H2. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.